see you. Welcome to the channel. My name is Claire. This is Polly Put the Petal On. And today I'm coming to you with a couple of a couple of Poundland Christmas candle decorations. Um, that I knew I was gonna do that. I was I knew I was gonna do these back in summertime. Um, and now the time has come. You know, I'm getting decorations uh, ready made, ready for when I start to decorate, um, which will be coming up soon i need to finish that hallway guys it is taking me forever you know <laughs> it's taking me forever um so yeah so without further ado we are going to transform these this is just an ordinary poundland pillar ca uh, candle which should be a pound from poundland that's they were a pound when i bought them and so were these these are the flickering led um pillar candles they were a pound and that was a pound this is the wax candle this is the you know the artificial plastic um so like i say i knew i was going to do these back in um summertime if you remember when i went to you may remember and for those of you that are recent to the channel you won't know but i did um a charity shop haul i'd been charity shop shopping with my friend kim and um we went into a bernardo's and in the bernardo's i got this sheet music do you remember this sheet this Be beethoven's uh sonatas um and i knew then when i bought this and it, this cost 50 pence from the charity shop I knew then when I bought it what I was going to do with it. Um, so I've got that. Um, I have also got some napkins. Now I'm just going to show you because I've already prepared my napkins. So I got those off eBay and they were £2. And they are in two designs. I'm going to show you what I've made so far. So I've made these, um, they're angels on the napkins. So this, this one's a little girl, a little angel with her kitten and a basket of apples. Absolutely beautiful that is. And this one is an angel um, looking up to two, you can't see them, to two, um, you will do on this one, two um, blue tits. Uh, with a deer at the side of her um, so yeah I love them what I really like about them is that they are both like because you get four on one napkin you get four squares of um, the same design don't you so you can get it so that they um, are like a pair of bookends really can you see they're both that both their faces are turning in so you can get it like that. But what I really like about these two designs is that, hang on, I don't know which way that would be. Yeah, is that this little one is looking up and this this was in the same pack from eBay and they were two pounds. This one is looking down and this one is looking up. I can't, I can't, for some reason I can't judge it. So if I have them at different lengths, um you know you know they look absolutely lovely they come they look as if they come as a pair they're a little bit rough around the edges i've never done them this way before um and i've done it with a heat gun which i'm going to show you now and for anybody who has done this craft before if you could if there's any if you watch me do mine and if there's any tips that you could share with me because you burn your fingers <laughs> You know, I have burnt my fingers this morning. So, yeah, be absolutely careful with your heat gun. Um, so it's heat you need. So, so you need a heat gun at, or you can use a hairdryer. And you, you need your candle, your wax candle. You need your... Um, napkin. Your paper napkin that you take the... Um, I I wonder whether there's another layer on this, but I, I I can't seem to see. I don't think there is. I think I've taken it off, but there usually is, isn't there? There's usually another another layer, 
which might have made it better but I can't see it right now so anyway I'm just going to do what I've done with the other with the other three so you need your napkin your wax candle and you need some grease proof paper now I can't remember which side is is which and to me the, this is Poundland what uh Greaseproof paper, and to me, it feels the same on both sides. So, anyway, let's get on with this. So, I'm going to tip you down. My table is a mess, it's full of glue, so you'll have to excuse it. So, we're going to do this one first. I'm going to bring that, bring that to the to the top of the candle, tighten it round. <sighs> well, that was a no noisy vehicle, wasn't it? And then I'm just going to wrap it in the greaseproof paper. Now, I on my first one, in fact, on all of them, I've burnt my fingers. So you just got to be careful. So there's the heat gun. Um, I don't know whether you can see that properly. Get your heat gun on. On the lowest setting I'm on because it's hot, hot enough. And, and as it heats up, you see through the greaseproof paper. Can you see that it starts to stick? Uh, the, sorry, the turn it off a minute because I need to move it round and it's melting the glue on the table, <laughs> so I'm sticking to that. Um, yeah, they are lovely. So basically, you're melting the napkin into the candle. You get quite hot these heat guns. And then I'm going up to the top. Just going to turn it round. Now I know that's Gonna smooth it out because that seemed to I think maybe you should hold it at quite a distance away and like I say it's the first time I've done these um you know I, but I wanted to do them um for my Christmas decorations so I'm going to leave that to cool a minute because that's melted quite a fair amount of the candle. But I think that's the worst one I've done yet. So I'm going to leave that to cool and then I'll take the paper off. The next thing. Um, yeah, if anybody has got any tips on how to do that properly, because um, I've seen a few videos, but I can't see that I'm doing anything different to the other videos. It's just that. Um, I'm burning myself and I'm very sensitive to the heat and to the cold so yeah I can't stand it um, so let's just take this off take this paper off because it's cooled, cooled down somewhat now and there it is it's melted into the now it's gone obviously it's gone a little bit um, rough I think perhaps if I held the gun further away 
but these are just for decoration. They're not going to, and I'll take the bottom off. In fact, I'll cut the bottom off now. Oops, got those little berries there. That's for the next. I hope you've all had a good week, guys. I've not been well. I've had um, an infection and um, so I've been on antibiotics and the antibiotics were really quite pokey. So yeah, so there you go. Beautiful little angel candle. It's not as... Do you know what? I'm just going to go with it. I think they look absolutely lovely regardless. Don't they? And that napkin has melt, melted into the wax. Um, I'm not going to burn these. I don't even know whether you can burn them. So any, again, anybody else who does make these candles, if you could tell me. I don't even know whether you can, obviously, because there's napkin inside that wax now. But I think these are lovely, a lovely touch to my decor this year. So I've got these little angels, these little girls that are dressed as angels. And there's one with a deer and she's having a little chat to two. To two. Um, this signifies something to me, this does really, because... Um, obviously, my sister's an angel, you know, and... Um, I always think she's a blue tit. I know, I know that's daft. Not, I don't think she's a blue tit, but when I see a blue tit, I think it's, oh, Donna, you know, there's a lot of people, like the robin, I, I signify that with my dad, but a blue tit, I signify it with my sister. Um, So for the fact that this little angel is looking up at some blue tits, I absolutely love it. I really do. So, yeah, I, I really love that. So I'm loving those. I've made four. So I've made two of each of those. And they they are going to feature in my decor. And you're going to see why. Because everything I'm doing is all going to knit together. So then we'll move on to the plastic LED flickering candles. Um, and I have made two already to show you what I'm going to make. And I'm going to make these. So I'm having one with a wreath on and I'm having one with just a, a you know, baby, baby um, pine cones and a little berry. I'll, yeah, pine cones and a little berry. And then I've got my little wreath with the little berries on and a little bow. Um, and it's on that sheet music. Now, I know this sheet music is Beethoven's sonatas and it's not. <laughs> it's not Christmas carols. It's not silent night, but who's going to dash into my sitting room and say, actually, Claire, you know, that's <laughs> they're not going to read that music, are they, guys? They're not going to dash in and say, actually, that's not even the right sheet music. That's not Christmas sheet music. And it was 50 pence that was. These were a pound. Um, this, which I've used the wreath out of um, on the little on the little thing, that was a pound and you got quite a big. A roll of it it could possibly be two meters and I got that from the works and that was a pound in fact it was 50 pence in the January sale so that was 50p um the berries were pence from AliExpress I got a bag of them so they were pence from AliExpress um this is cheap as chips absolutely cheap as chips as are those other candles you know um because you get a lot of, well, you get four squares on on um, each napkin. I've used two and um, you get quite a few in the pack for two pound um, of those two different designs. So, yeah, cheap as chips this, this is. Um, but it's something that I want to, to make for my own decor. And this little bit of ribbon is just off some um, velvet ribbon that I have um, already in my stash. And I've just cut it up the middle and cut it again. So I've got a little strip there that's surplus. Um, and I've just created that little bow. So, yeah, so sheet music um, and, and the little wreath 
and then sheet music and that little decoration there which you know these are simple really simple um things to make but they don't look tacky or cheap and they're going to go really nice in and amongst my my um christmas decor so basically i'm just i've cut these strips of, of sheet music and i'm just going to find the one that looks the side that looks more interesting and i think it's that one so and then i've got my glue my my glue gun got my glue gun and in the center i'm just gonna put some glue i'm gonna find the face of the candle and that's where that dip is actually that dip i'll use and um, make sure the music's the right way up Set it into place on the candle, bring it round the back and there will be a back side to it guys. I definitely need to get some of those silicon fingertips. Um, bring it over. And that's that stuck on there. I've got, um, I really must get my scraper for this table because the, the amount of glue that I've got on it is unbelievable. So let's do the, the wreath first. Where's my little, I cut some off. Yeah, so I cut two strips off to make it like a, um, a thicker wreath. Um, glue strings. Two strips and then I've just wound them around each other. And then I'm just going to shape it and make the wreath like that. Doesn't have to be perfect, guys. Really doesn't. Um, and then just glue the... Oh, next doors. Can okay, next doors? That's unusual. Right. And stick it down. If you can. Refrain from burning your fingers. So I hope you've all had a lovely week, guys. I really do. Yeah, like I say, I've not been very well. And then last night I started to pick up, uh, which is good because I'm, I'm right on the very last antibiotic. Uh, I've taken that this morning. So I thought, yeah, it's about time. Do you know, I really dislike this glue gun. I really do. If I did ask on one of my last videos, if anybody knows of a decent glue gun, please would you drop it me in the comments. Um, because this one that I got from, I think it was from Tool Station or Screw Fix or somewhere like that. It's absolutely bobbins. Right, and I'm now just going to have three berries cut the ends off i've got i've had some use out of these berries guys i'll tell you i made a noel sign last year with a little wreath on like this and i used these berries i made what did i make i made that little wreath behind me uh the b m dupe that i made last week uh, and I use these little berries. And now I'm making these tiny wreaths on the on these candles. 
and I'm using these little berries. So yeah, I'm, and I'll be down to my last two, which will go on the, the next candle coming up. So just stick them on. Then get your, get your little bit of ribbon and we're gonna do exactly what, what I've shown you before, as if you're putting a scarf on, you know, both sides, both of these sides have to be pretty side up. So this is velvet and obviously there's no velvet on the back. Pretty side up, I'm going to bring it down and there's a nice little bow. So I'm just going to pleat that and I did have some wire. There it is. It's very fine wire this. And pull it tight. And there we go. Let's cut that down. And then trim your bow ends. And stick it on. I can't see it. I'm working with tiny things and I really should go and get my glasses. Because it really might help and just stick it on. I'll just go and get my glasses. So that's that one. And now we'll go on to the next one, which is literally, I've just got this little bit of um, frost. So I'm gonna pull off a couple of um, And, and I've got, uh, uh, this is, um, there's about 200 pine cones in there. So I'm just going to choose, they're only small. I'm just going to choose a couple of them. Yeah, they're fine. And, oops, that's the wrong thing. I was going for the... Stick that down. Now, I did have some frost on on one of the pine cones, but um, that was something that I'd done last week for that, that B&M dupe and I haven't got frost on any of the others, so I'm just going with it. Super simple decorations, really, but really sweet, homemade and totally inexpensive. And then I'm going to put another one up here. Um, yeah, up there.
And then what I did, because I didn't want that sticking like that, what I did then was I literally brought this one round and glued it. So bring it round. And just hold it for a bit. Literally because because of the the surface area isn't solid, you know. So you want as many of the, of those tiny tiny spikes if you like. You want as many of those to stick to the to the glue. So just hold it in place. And then the same for the next one, bring it round and glue it. And hold it down. Super simple, super easy, super cheap, super, super. <laughs> and I'm going to use the last of those two berries, you know, um, and I'm going to put one there and I'm going to put one there. And then I'm going to show you. So you, using bits that you've got, you know, using totally inexpensive bits and pieces that you've got or you can cut if you bought them in new, new, especially, you know, the napkins, you'd have to get them new unless you had some in your stash. Um, you know, but all the bits and pieces that I have used are totally inexpensive. And I've got some pretty little decorations to add. Matt was hot. To add into my Christmas decor this year. That easy guys, wasn't it? Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. But so nice. So I've got my two, I've got my two uh, wreaths and my um, sheet music. I've got my two pine cone decorations. Really happy with those. And then I've got my two beautiful, um, well, I've got, you know, these four, but these two designs to um, swap it over. And one. <laughs> I've got my two, um, we get there in the end, guys, don't we? I've got my two beautiful designs. So if anybody's got any tips on those, I'd really appreciate it. Because like I say, that was the first time I'd done that. But I wanted to do it on camera. Um, A, because I wanted to ask. You know, because I'd made three up before I made that fourth one. Um, and, you know, I knew they were it was causing problems. So, yeah, if anybody's got any tips on that. Um, and, you know, super simple, super easy. And the, you will see these feature in my decor this year. Possibly fireplace, possibly um, hallway. Um, I'm loving those angels. I really am loving those angels. So, yeah. So thank you so much for watching. That's it for this one, guys. I'll be back on Sunday with meals of the week for those of you that join me for that. For those of you that don't, I'll be back on Tuesday with a little haul. Um, so I do hope you'll join me on any of those days. You know, um, it'll be lovely to see you. Um, if you like this video and you like any sorts of like shopping hauls, food, um, 
crafts lots of christmas things coming up lots of christmas content coming up if you like any of that please consider subscribing and please don't forget to give me that thumbs up because it really does help you know um and um yeah thank you so much for watching and taking the time out of your day to leave your comments and you know I really do appreciate it. So guys, thank you so much. I'll see you on Sunday and then I'll see you again on Tuesday. You take care now. Take care. Bye.